Do you ever wonder what to consider when reading aloud to your multilingual children? In this video, we'll be discussing the power of reading aloud and providing five strategies on how to do it with trilingual or multilingual children. Reading aloud is crucial in supporting language and literacy development as it exposes children to new vocabulary, helps them understand story structures, and also builds empathy for characters. It can even spark a love for books and turn children into independent language learners. So if you're short on time, remember to focus on books. Tip number one, embracing multilingual reading. In multilingual families, reading aloud offers a window into our heritage, our costumes, and, uh, and diverse languages. It enables us to experience the unique rhythm, rhymes, sound, and wordplay that each language offers. If you feel confident enough in an additional language, do not hesitate to read to your children in that language as well. But keep in mind that during the first six years of your child's life, at least, you should focus most of your time on passing on your main language. Reading in additional languages is rooted in a proven language learning technique known as one situation, one language. Consider taking this mini course called How to Choose the Right Languages and Methods to learn all about proven language learning methods and how to combine them without risks. The link is in the description below. While it is essential to expose our children to their home languages, it is also important to foster pride in all the languages that they are learning. Therefore, reading aloud in any language that you feel comfortable and enjoy is a good thing. Tip number two, bring text to life. We can make reading even more enjoyable by bringing text to life through the right intonation, character voices, volume, pauses. This not only makes reading fun, but also models fluent reading for our children. I came across this totally adorable video of a dad uh, doing a great job when reading aloud to his baby and bringing the text to life. Take a look at it. I just wondered, Mickey. Here you go, Minnie, said Goofy. You're surprised this is Mickey. Now who wants to go skating? Giggled Minnie, handing Mickey the box. Wow, inside were shiny new skates. Gee, thanks, Minnie, Mickey said with a big grin. Mickey strapped on his shiny new skates. Come on, everybody, she called. Let's skate. Oh my gosh, did you see the baby's face? So adorable. The baby is having the time of her life. That is the effect that reading in an interesting manner can have in children. To captivate children's attention and get them interested in learning, pause and explain the illustrations, comment on the content or ask questions before continuing. This simple strategy can help children better understand the material, encourage critical thinking and active participation on the learning process. Another thing I like to do with my own children is to encourage them to say stop when they don't understand a word so that I can explain the meaning to them before continuing and also to test how much they are understanding. That's an effective way of building up more vocabulary. Avoid asking your child, what is this? What is this? What is this? Can you say this in Spanish? Can you say this in German? That's like horrible to do with your child if you do it too early. It just puts kids under pressure and, and they, sometimes they just get a blackout out of that situation and it's not helpful. What is much more helpful is that you just provide them with the vocabulary and the words a lot of times. You just tell them, look, here's the rainbow and here are the flowers and look, they are, they are white and did you see that they, they are white? What is under the, the rainbow? You know, you repeat the words over and over again so many times until inevitably your child will learn and know the vocabulary but do not make like a spanish inquisition <laughs> out of your reading experience with your children that's not very fun for them either for those of you that are new here 
My name is Andrea Bright Moza, I'm a teacher specialized in multilingualism and in this channel I share tips, tricks and know-how on how to raise multilingual children with success. So consider subscribing to my mailing list and this channel for more support. Read aloud and listen, listen. Reading aloud can take on different forms, from reading to your children to taking turns reading with them. Once children become confident readers, reading together allows for exploring new texts and subjects in greater depth. For children who are just starting to read and aren't fluent yet, taking turns reading is a good approach. This ensures that the reading experience is not too overwhelming or lengthy and allows children also to feel proud of being able to read aloud with you. A good rule of thumb is to limit reading sessions to 10 to 15 minutes for beginners, which helps them prevent the experience from becoming too tiring. Here's how I do it with my daughter. A ver. Henry feiert Geburtstag. Henry ist Hausgeist bei Paul und dessen Eltern. Paul. Dein Paul. Aquí. Er? er kommt aus Schottland und macht Gern Musik. Muy bien. Heute hat Henry Geburtstag. Er wird. Er äh, geht er wird 399. Ja, Mami. If your child is not reading yet, it's worth noting that wordless books or books with very few words are an excellent choice for babies, toddlers and preschoolers due to their bright colors, vivid contrasts and captivating illustrations. Picture books are fantastic for developing imagination and storytelling skills and can be enjoyed by people of all ages and all language backgrounds. Books like this one, for example. ¿Qué hacen esos? A ver, pon la mano ahí para ver. ¿Qué están haciendo? Mira, una ballena enorme. Y también hay unos pescaditos y unos corales. ¿Tú les ves a los corales? Muy bien. Y tú cuéntame, ¿qué está pasando aquí? Un, un barco está pisándole a la ballena. ¿Le está aplastando? Yo creo que la ballena está muy bien abajo. No le pasa nada. Además está despierta. Creo que a ella no le pueden pisar. Uno, yo estoy listo para dormir. Y una vez está en colectiva, y a nosotros les quitan la ballena. Porque si viene la ballena, pueden hacer parte de la ballena. Pero ahora aquí, como ya no hay ningún problema, no hay ninguna ballena. Murió alguna vez. ¿Y quién está aquí? El. María, jefe. Una mariquita. Mami. Sí, amor. Hoy. Una vez vimos en la Bachelor Group una mariquita que era falet. Una mariquita que estaba malherida. ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Cómo sabías que estaba malherida? Es que, es que solo podía ir con tres patas. Oh, se le cayó una y, patita. No, una, 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 um, una se le comió una hormiga. Como la canción. ¿Te acuerdas de la canción sí. que cantábamos? La cucaracha, ya, la cucaracha, cucaracha, ya no puede caminar porque le falta, porque no tiene una patita de atrás. La pobre cucarachita se metió en el hormiguero y las hormigas trayesas. ¿Qué hicieron? <laughs> they are especially valuable for multilingual families as they can be utilized in various languages in imaginative ways. We can also encourage the children to tell a story that matches to the illustration, for example. If you're interested in learning more about how to effectively read picture books, read picture books to multilingual children, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section. Strategy number four, engage your children in age-appropriate 
texts. When selecting text to read aloud, choose age-appropriate and engaging material that captures your child's interest. Allowing your children to pick their own books at the library is an excellent way to keep the reading experience enjoyable and motivating. I, for example, bring home books for my children from the library every two weeks, but I also try to go with them to the library so that they can pick the topics and types of books that interest them. Sometimes they pick completely different books than I would. And if you picked a book and you started to read to your child and you realize that your child's completely not interested in it, it could be that the book, the level is too hard or the topics are not relevant yet for your child. I advise you to just put the book aside and wait for some months and after some months try it again. It might be that your child is ready for that book then. Tip number five, let children set the pace when it comes to reading aloud to, to children. It's essential to remember that they are active participants in the experience. Pushing them to listen beyond their limits may, may lead to disinterest and loss of engagement. Instead, allow your children to set the pace and length of the reading activity and respect their decision when they need to stop. As your child grows older, their attention span increases and they can handle longer reading sessions. By letting your child guide the reading experience, you're creating a positive and en engaging environment that encourages a love for reading. Now here comes the key point. If you are pressed for time and aiming to provide your children with multiple languages effectively, prioritize reading books and instill a love for reading in your child. This simple practice can have a tremendous positive impact on their overall language skills and academic development. The more books and audiobooks you incorporate, the better the outcome will be. As a teacher at a multilingual school in Zurich, I follow this exact approach to help my students attain the level of proficiency required to succeed in the Swiss school system uh, in half the time. Given that my students are primarily taught in English while still following the same curriculum and goals as the German speaking public schools, which are fully immersed in German speak in a German speaking environment, the challenge is significant. However, the key to their success lies in the extensive reading and listening practice. So do that if you don't do anything else and you just focus on that, you're doing just great. Let's sum up. Reading aloud to your children is an effective means of fostering language and literacy skills. To achieve this goal, we should select texts that are appropriate and captivating for their age, use the appropriate tone and expressions to bring the stories to life, ask questions, pause, and explain, allow our children to set the pace. For families that speak multiple languages, reading aloud can be a means of discussing various cultures and languages and can lead to lifelong learning skills. So let's strive to make reading a priority, pleasurable and a beneficial activity for our multilingual children. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and check out this other video where I showcase excellent children books to use for multilingual families like yours. Keep up the fantastic work and I'll be in touch soon.